Today we're going on a food and drink tour of Wellington, New Zealand. From, from our, our house. house in Denver. Hello, I'm Adrian. This is XOXO Cooks, the weekly show where we create magic and enjoy food. And my special guest today, as usual, my cute husband Christian. Our friends Dave and Lana have been on this show a bunch of times before. They're living in Wellington, New Zealand, which according to them is like the coolest hipster city in the world. And within three kilometers of their house, there are all these artisanal places making food and drinks. And so for my birthday this year, they put a few things that they love into a box and shipped it to us. It's such a good example of creating magic. Like two cans of beer is not that special on an average day, but if you throw it in a box and you ship it across the whole world, it's pretty special. The other cool thing is I have footage from Wellington that's gonna be interspersed in this video a little bit that Lana shot to go along with the present and I thought it was so cute. My favorite present is when people make YouTube videos. The first things that we're gonna try are these two beers from the Garage Project. And you'll notice that I have tape across the top that says Adrian's Do Not Drink. I've been planning to do this video since I got these in the mail last month, and I was just terrified that somebody would be over and like casually drink it. Pan Pacific Amber Ale, inspired by the humble Anzac biscuit. What is that? Australia and New Zealand biscuit. Toasted coconut and a combination of New Zealand and Australian hot. Cool. New Zealand is awesome. I'm only gonna let you try a little bit. I know. Because this is my birthday beer. I respect that. Reddish. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the amber ale. Mm. Smells like beer to me. <laughs> Ooh, whoa. What? I like it. I think it's very good. It tastes like some kind of a biscuit or something. Am I just putting that in my head because I read that on huh. the thing? This is really nice. No, it'd make it nicer. What? Dave and Lana were here. Oh, uh, well, this is a ginger ale mix which is from Six Barrel Soda Company. Hmm. New Zealand made specialty soda syrups. And it says, this is a soda syrup for making great drinks. It is perfect with soda stream or your favorite sparkling water. <gasps> we're doing it right. They have soda stream. We're like, we're from New Zealand right now. <laughs> okay. Whoa, it's a strong smell. Let's, so we put in 33 milliliters. Uh, we'll just eyeball it. No idea how to eyeball 30, milliliters. Is that 33 milliliters? Like that? I hope I'm not ruining this. I'm sorry, Lana. Hold on. Let me find out what 33 milliliters is. <sighs> okay. Pause. That's about right. Success! I'm so good at milliliters. Do you know yeah. why? It's just not a lot. It's because I had some of this, and I'm all New Zealandy now. Mmm. Ooh, that's really nice. I just feel at peace right now. If I knew what New Zealand felt like, I would say that this feels like New Zealand. We're not, we're not being very descriptive. You guys probably want to like know what this actually tastes like. It's very sweet, as if you had made, like with a simple syrup, you can really taste the sugar. This next one is a chocolate bar from the Wellington Chocolate Factory. Yeah, the packaging is really nice. It's stickier than I would expect. I wonder if they're packaging style is different. I know, this is like a post-it note, actually. Yeah. That is, oh, it goes all the way around. That, that's cute. Ooh, why am I sharing this with you? This is my birthday chocolate. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, so we have little rectangles. Oh, thank you! Ooh, you know when they have raspberry filling in chocolates and it just sort of like goops out and it's like weird? Mm. And licory. Mm. And this is not like that at all. No, it's quick cool. It's got little raspberry bits in it. Mm. It's it's kind of different than the peanut butter that we would get in like mm -hmm. a Butterfinger here or something. It's mm -hmm. like more dull in a flavor. It's like a drier. It's more subtle. Mm. It's nice though. It's interesting. You can make peanut butter different ways than we do it. Speaking of which, <laughs> let's try your next item. Dark chocolate peanut butter. I'm gonna need to stir it up actually because it's like real, real nice peanut butter. We're just gonna put this on some toast. Whoa, it's chunky! That's awesome. I had read that on the back but I forgot. Okay, yeah, thanks. Here we go. Ching ching! Ooh! It's not as sweet as I would have thought. Mm -hmm. Because peanut butter is not sweet unless you put sugar into it. Is there sugar in here? Gluten free? Mm -hmm. 
gluten-free and made by hand in our nut buttery. Ooh, two more things. Let's try this chocolate bar. This is also from the Wellington Chocolate Factory and it has this cool like post-it note sticker on the back. You guys see this? Wellington Chocolate Factory. Ooh, I like how they break into very little squares so that you can Thank just you. share one with your husband and then keep the rest for yourself. Mm. I like chocolate. 70% chocolate, that's nice. That's good. Hops on point. Champagne Pilsner. Mm. So what does this say? Uses the champagne yeast. Beer and ballet, an unusual pas de deux. That's not New Zealandish. Brewed by the Garage Project for the Royal New Zealand Ballet, Hops on Point teases the traditional boundaries between high and low culture. Oh, this one's really light. This is good for like a hot day, I bet. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is weird. I don't know if I like it. I'll drink it. It's good. Because it's hoppy. Yep. But then the aftertaste is like... It's not sour. It's not like a sour. Mm. It's growing on me, though. Mm. I like it. It I grew to... Well, it I just... I love how unique it is. I've never had anything like this at all. Mm-hmm. Well, mm. I mean, for the ballet, you got to do something special. Hmm. Pretty cool. Well, oh. cheers to you. Cheers to Wellington, New Zealand. Thanks for coming along for the ride. And thank you, Dave and Lana, for thinking of me on my birthday and sending fun stuff. Yeah. I encourage you guys to share the magic of wherever you live with someone that you love, mm -hmm. because it really doesn't take much. I have a new video every Saturday morning, so if you want to check those out every week, please subscribe on YouTube. But also, in between, I'm on Snapchat all the time, sharing food and Denver adventures and stuff that we're doing, so make sure that you follow me on Snapchat if you do that kind of stuff. And leave us a comment here. Let me know what you think about things like tasting stuff. Is this interesting? Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next. Bye 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 bye.